Hi everyone, good to be with you again here on our Lenten devotionals. I'm going to read from Romans today, chapter 8, verses 26 through 27. And here the Apostle Paul writes to the church at Rome about, about our prayer life, and especially when we don't know what to pray for or even how to pray. Have you ever had that experience in your life? I know I've had this on many occasions. The latest of which was when I was praying for my friend Jay Dixon. He was a facilities maintenance worker here for several years before moving on to other things and, and was a friend uh, and a member of the congregation for many years. And Jay was battling cancer and succumbed to the cancer just a couple of short weeks ago. And I got to tell you, I prayed and I prayed and I prayed that God would heal Jay. And it was only six months after his di diagnosis that Jay died of cancer. The night that Jeanette and I spent with Jay was the last night that Jay was living. And so we visited him in the hospital and I saw my friend hurting and in pain and suffering. And then Jeanette and I got home and, and I frankly did not have any words to say. We entered Jeanette and I into a time of prayer and were allowing God to, to speak to us by his spirit. And I literally could not get anything to come from my mouth, let alone my head, but anything to come from my mouth. And that's surprising for a pastor. <laughs> it's surprising, maybe uh, surprising you today that, that I had no words. But you've been there. I know this. And so Paul says these words to the church at Rome, and these were the words that came to mind as Jeanette and I prayed that night. Paul says, in the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. And he who searches our hearts knows the mind of the Spirit because the Spirit intercedes for God's people in accordance with the will of God. Wow, did I ever experience this reality, this truth of the Apostle Paul's that night. You see, it was in, in my own weakness that I wasn't able to form words in prayer. In fact, I didn't even know what to pray for. On the one hand, I wanted to pray for God's miraculous and full healing for Jay in his mortal body that we might continue to have life together here. On the other hand, I felt like praying God Take him so that he's out of pain. Take him that he might be resurrected into his new immortal body. And so that night, I truly did not know how to pray. But I believe, not only because Paul says it here, but because I experienced it, that the Spirit himself interceded for me in wordless groans. I'm not sure if I was groaning out loud. You'd, you'd have to ask Jeanette if that was actually happening. But I know I, know I was groaning, groaning deep within my heart and my spirit. Groaning without any way to form words for God to hear. But here's the good news. In verse 27, this God who is listening as we pray to him searches our hearts and because of the intercession of the Holy Spirit, hears our spirit's groans as the Spirit of God intercedes for us. And the end of verse 27 reminds us that God hears and intercedes and the Spirit's uh, voice prays for us in accordance with God's will. So I know that those groans, and I'm not sure whether those groans really meant God take Jay or God heal him here today. 
but that I know those groans were in accordance with God's will. And in the end, it was God's will that he sent Jesus to welcome Jay into the kingdom. So when you don't know how to pray, pray. Pray anyway. Stop, slow down, go to that private place, that spot where you can know and sense and feel God's Spirit working in you and with you. And be confident that the Spirit intercedes on your behalf. It may sound like wordless groans to you, whether in your mind or to others around, but know that those prayers perhaps mean all the more to God as you give Him your heart. Let us pray. Lord, there, there are many times that we don't know when to pray or how to pray. But you say, come unto me. And so we do come to you. And we thank you, Holy Spirit, that you intercede on our behalf. That where we only have wordless groans, you interpret those. And God, Father, we know that you hear our spirits our hearts groans as your spirit intercedes. And so God, our prayers are heard and maybe all the more in those times when we don't know how to pray. So teach us, teach us to be women and men of prayer and prayer without words when necessary. Through Christ our Lord we pray, amen.